Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So in this video we will explore and uh, review the UFE asset and we will see that how this uh, asset is set up actually and how we can customize uh, this asset in the later videos. Uh, before that definitely we will uh, I just have created a supported assets folder uh, where I will place uh, everything related to this uh, main project so here if we uh, go to the main uh, fighter uh, fight gear uh, folder where it is uh, sorry I just uh, okay sorry this one so here you can see that uh, we have this uh, graphics folder which uh, i have collected for the collector graphics and the ui elements but the corrector graphics are not in the accurate uh, sizes so first of all i will just resize the character photos and then i will just bring this graphic folder uh, into my uh, my main uh, uh, project okay so for now i will just import the ui elements so let's uh, go here and uh, support it assets or maybe on the main i'll just add the folder with the name of uh, sprites or let's make it textures maybe and uh, here we can import our elements so i'm just importing the elements for the ui elements and in the next video i will show you that how we will uh, uh, bring the other uh, images of the characters uh, in the same video actually uh, but before that we will just uh, overview the main ufe asset so whenever you will import the ufe you will see this folder and in this folder you have demos and we have a lot of demos here so the first demo will start with the 2d fighter and if we open the demo fighter you can see that if you play the game you will see a nice demo over here you can see a nice intro and then we have a, this page and uh, you can see uh, listen the music as well I can just uh, uh, unmute uh, mute this audio for now and you can see that we have a lot of mode we have challenges options credits training mode versus story mode and a lot of other things so if we go to versus and player versus cpu you can see that we have these characters we can select the character and we can play the game by selecting the uh, level okay so here you can see we have a nice level and uh, we have a nice ui and we can actually uh, fight as well so uh, everything looks nice okay so this is the uh, fully furnished game for us so we can go to back menu and yes so first of all the first thing is this display so the usually the best display for the game is uh, uh, the uh, hd display full hd 1920 to 1080 display and uh, that is the best one display uh, for this asset and uh, uh, that's nice and after that we will see that how this uh, scene is actually uh, moving on if you will see the in hierarchy you can see that we have only two elements here we have the main camera uh, where we have the simple camera with the audio listener and the ufe manager and this is the main object here which controls everything within the game so you will see the ufe manager you have uh, this uh, ufe script and if we click on this uh, config fighter uh, to the global info uh, asset you can see that this is the asset which controls the whole game okay uh, so if we open this uh, ufe global asset you can see that we have a project name we have a gameplay type we have 3d 2d fighter arena etc and everything is actually uh, managed here regarding to the game so you can see that we have a debug option we have a development options ai options we have certain type of ais we have the languages okay so you can change the language as well if you want to do so uh, we have the camera options and uh, where you can uh, change the 
uh, z axis or you can change the field of view etc which are very uh, nice features and we can control everything uh, on with only this one object counter hit options we have a combo options we have a block options we have a, a lot of other things hit uh, input options where you can uh, have the unity input manager we can create the custom classes as well and uh, we have player one inputs where you can see that we have right key and uh, you can see the horizontal and uh, uh, vertic uh, this uh, vertical axis and then uh, button one and then a uh, lot of other things are here so you can customize these things okay so definitely we will explore this thing later on we have also the stages where you can place your stages or levels uh, whatever, whatsoever and uh, then we have a characters so currently you can see that we have uh, six characters over here and definitely we can add multiple characters here and uh, we can customize the ui regarding to characters as well gui options include a lot of screens here where we have a lot of prefabs so if for example we click on this uh, as you can see that it will direct you to this folder where we have the prefab and we will customize these prefabs later on okay so no problem so here you can see that in the gui options we have the scale with screen size and 1920 and 1080 resolution selected so that's why this uh, resolution is best for the uh, game play mode after we have the story mode options with a lot of other things we have the training mode options we have the challenge mode options we have the preload options we have the advanced options and uh, we also have the network options if you want to create some network as well okay so you, the, this uh, indian will work with unity networking and photon as well okay so for anything if uh, for example you want to know more details about that thing you can click on this uh, question mark and you will be directed to the uh, web page with uh, the specific uh, details for that specific option okay so at any time if uh, for example you don't uh, have the answer for specific thing you can just click on question mark and you can uh, read that recommendation although with the ufe you will see this installation page and read me uh, details as well where you will see these links regarding to the uh, tutorials if uh, we just explore this you can see that we have this uh, small documentation where it will show us that you can explore the uh, videos here you can see videos and uh, content as well so you can click on videos and you will be directed to UFE official videos as well so you can see these video tutorials as well uh, for uh, just understanding any specific section of UAFE uh, so now you can see that uh, in overall the UFE is controlled by this uh, uh, a particular object and now the first thing first we will uh, start creating our characters uh, the fighters from the next video but before that I will just show you the main setup of the images uh, so first of all I will just go to sported assets and uh, the fight pack and the prefabs and we have the fighter 0 fighter 4 6 and i think we don't have any name for these fighters so if we go to character fighter 0 mesh fighter 0 4 mesh okay so actually it uh, uh, these characters don't have the specific names although you can assign the names as well if you want to do so uh, but uh, we are happy with this and we can actually uh, just uh, create the fighter one two three four like this okay no problem later on we can think about some uh, random names and we can place that names for these fighters as well so for now uh, if uh, we will just uh, uh, go to assets ufe 
here you can see that we have demos and to the fighter and here we have the characters so if you go to characters you can see that this uh, this is a folder of the characters and it's move here okay then and it's move and this is the main character file which you will definitely explore in the next video so one uh, place of the character is this one which is the main uh, thing uh, main place for the character files and uh, then we have uh, if uh, we move back to demos to the fighter and uh, if we go to demos and shared assets uh, then in shared assets you will see that we have characters again and then here you can see that for one character uh, we have ui uh, we have sprites uh, for that character specific character if we uh, uh, if it is a 2d character okay uh, but if it is a 3d character like this mic one then you can see that it has the main model and uh, then we have the animations for this character okay if uh, your character has some specific animations uh, you want to use so here are the animations and then we have the ui so here we will get the reference for the ui so you can see that uh, the ui portrait small is and uh, portrait big these two sizes we need for our ui elements so let's drag all these elements to the photoshop and uh, one by one we will just uh, uh, create the character uh, uh, images like this uh, in this uh, specific size so how we'll do that we'll just go to characters we will just pick our first character and we will just um, add this character to this area like this okay so let's add it so this is our first character image and uh, now for the small image we will just drag off this and we will just place it to the this spot maybe okay and this is the uh, icon uh, for the character okay so that's simple so for this we will just right click here and the control t and then we will just right click and skew and then we can skew this image for a better uh, representation okay so like this okay so now we have nice image for our first character and uh, definitely we will uh, name this character so i will name these characters separately so for example this character will just uh, name it uh, jambu for example okay so let's go to the uh, save as i will just go to uh, the main desktop and uh, uh, then here we will just go to the uh, fight gear uh, where it is and uh, uh, graphics and characters and uh, for the first character I will just uh, create a new folder and we'll name it uh, uh, we'll name it uh, uh, the jumpu for example okay so the imaginary name for this character and then we will save it as a png okay and with the name of portrait big because we are saving the big portrait okay so let's save it and then for the small one we will just go to save it in the same folder uh, for the desktop and uh, fight gear and then correct graphics characters jumbo and it will be png as well okay so in this way i will just save uh, all of the images with the uh, the specific character names and then i uh, will move further in next video and will create our first character